In today's TypeScript challenge, we will look at how we can infer the first member of a given input array type, which is actually quite easy to do. And in addition to that, this challenge also throws an additional hurdle in the works, which of course we will also overcome. So let's take a look. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take an input type T, which must be of an array type, and then return the type of the first element within that array. As an example, when given a tuple containing the members 3 to 1, we should return the literal 3. In the next tuple, we return the type of the function which is the first member, and if it is an empty array, we should return never, and if the first member is undefined, then we should return undefined. And if this generic type function is invoked with something that is not an array, like a string or an object, then it should return an error. We can isolate the error inputs quite easily with a simple generic constraint that t must extend some form of an array. We don't care what the members of the array are, we are marking them as any, but at the very least, t should be some array. And with this generic constraint in place, the error scenarios are handled successfully. Now we have access to t on the right hand side of the generic function and we know that t is going to be some form of an array and we want to find out what the zeroth element is going to be. So no surprise, we can use a simple lookup type to look up the type of the zeroth index. And this actually handles most of the successful scenarios for us as well, except for the one where we want first of an empty tuple to give us never. The question is, why is it right now not returning never? And the answer lies in JavaScript. Within JavaScript, if you try to access a member that does not exist in an array, the runtime will actually return undefined. For example, within an empty array, we try to access the index zero, and of course, this logs undefined. And TypeScript is actually smart enough to understand this. So right now, our first on an empty tuple is actually returning the type undefined, whereas the expectation is that this should return never. And within the test cases, they've sort of identified why it is a good idea to map an empty array into never, because an undefined might be an actual valid member of an array, and in that case, we want to return undefined, which means that for the empty case, we want to return something else, and over here, never is an excellent choice. Now, in order to map this particular case to never, it's quite easy to do. What we need to figure out is if t is exactly an empty tuple, and we can do that with the conditional type, checking if t extends an empty tuple, and if so, conditionally return never, otherwise return t of zero as we were doing before. And with this, all of the cases are handled. We make sure that we only accept arrays, make sure if it extends an empty tuple, we return never, otherwise return t of zero using a lookup type. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe to learn more coding tips and tricks and I will see you in the next one.